guys, what's up? Uh, just to let you know, there, there will be a vlog that's coming up on my other channel for the Gamer Freak 20, but this is on Wired Reviews because I'm changing the whole concept, but I'm doing a movie review. Yes, guys, it has come to time. I'm doing a review of Taken 3. Uh, Taken, the original one, came out in 2008, starred Liam Neeson, Maggie Grace, and other people. The second one came out in 2012, and then the third one came out this year. They're, I've heard of rumors that they're making a fourth one, but I do not know, but this one's about three. Now, I, uh, I watched this maybe, I think it was last night, I actually believe it was last night, and, uh, let me just say this, the movie, it really, it really does live up to the whole Taken standards, uh, yeah, uh, freaking, it was an amazing movie, at least Liam Neeson did a good job and everything, uh, but this is actually different, there will be spoiler, spoilers in this video, so, the whole plot is that he, his wife, get, gets killed. Uh, they make it look like Liam Neeson did it, who's the main character, Brian Mills, in the film. And they make it look like he did it, and uh, it's all about him trying to find out who killed his wife and why did they try to frame him. And the movie is just intense action packed. It also stars Fartis Whitaker as a police officer. And this one takes, a, a, it ta has more people in it because his friends actually help him in this movie. And it just takes a different turn because most of the movies was like, it was, I think it was, I think he went to Iran, Iran or something like that and had to kill those people. And the second one he killed the, the son's father that he killed in the first one. And, well, this one, it isn't about that. It's about the mob, well, well, the Russian mafia, and everything, and police are involved in everything. And it's not the whole uh, stalkerish like movie like the first two was. But this is a great sequel, just like the second one. It's not bad than the first one, of course. It cannot be. It, it's it, it's actually a little. I I would say it's a little bit better than the second one, just because it's got more mystery and stuff in it and. But well, the game overall is good. I would definitely give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, it's just my opinion. And uh, this, got, this video is going to be a little short. But I'm, I do want to talk some more about it. Uh, but yeah, the movie. It's just amazing. Action packed. Nothing but death. Uh, well, that's, that's basically all I can say about it. It's basically nothing but death. Uh, he does a lot of fast moves in it and just kills everyone and well it's a good movie uh, it's in theaters now I saw it last night so uh, you should definitely go check this movie out like I said the rating I would give it is a 7 out of 10 I do not know what Rotten Tomatoes or IMDB gave it but I would definitely give it a 7 out of 10 and uh, yeah uh, well that's gonna be it for this review Hope you guys like this video. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And come on this channel for more daily news about music, reviews, and uh, just news uh, about music, movies, actors, controversies, movies, and stuff like that. I will uh, I'll get back to you maybe tomorrow. I do not know. So peace out.